Alright, the guy just stopped playing because he didn't stand a chance. Score another goal with Vinicius Jr. Come on, score with Oh, hitting the bar. <laughs> Welcome everyone to a new tactics video, my name is Mark and in this video I'm going to show you the best way to play with the Spanish club Real Madrid, all in my opinion of course, based on my own playstyle and at this moment. I'm going to show you the best formation, lineup tactics and instructions and after that I'm going to show you some highlights from a game that I was playing in online seasons so you can see how I am playing this formation and maybe yeah, you can learn something from that, uh, hopefully you can because that's why I'm making these videos and trying to help you guys. Uh, with these videos to become better at FIFA. If you appreciate that, I would really appreciate it if you would leave a like for me. And if you're new to the channel, want to find your way back really easy, make sure you are subscribed with notifications on. All right, let's start with the formation. It's the 4 3 2 1 formation, the same as I did with the Paris Saint Germain um, video, the last one. And uh, yeah, this is just working amazing at this moment for me. Uh, the strikers were a bit. A bit uh, messed up but that is FIFA uh, when you are setting up your formation the first time sometimes he's switching random some players so keep that in mind if you are doing this all right the squad the lineup Courtois is the goalkeeper of course Carvajal the right defender Rüdiger and Militao are the center backs and Mandi is the left defender I'm using Modric, Alaba and Valverde as the central midfielders and already know what's coming. Why are you using Alaba as a central midfielder? Because he is pretty good at that possession, especially if you're using him a bit defensive. He has medium high uh, work rate, so that is really good. He has four star weak foot, what is really uh, handy when it's come to the build up, when you have the ball, passing the ball around. It doesn't matter that much if you are passing with him with his left or right feet. Uh, he is pretty fast for central defensive midfielder, 97 and yeah, 85 defending is really really good the other option that you should have in this uh, one is Chuameni of course but yeah you can see the stats the, uh, his pace is less passing is less dribbling is less defending is less only his physics are a bit more but he has three star weak foot so that is why I'm using Alaba and not Chuameni on that possession uh, then we have on the right side Rodrigo uh, Benzema is a striker and Vinicius Jr. is the left one of course then we're going to the tactics Defensive style is balanced with a width of 35 and a depth of 50. Uh, the builder play is balanced, chance creation is balanced, the width is 50. Plays in the box, four bars, corners, three kicks is three bars uh, at this moment uh, for me, but that doesn't matter for the tactics at all, of course. All right, let's go to the instructions. I have Carvajal on stay back while attacking and overlap run type. Uh, so we, by default, he is staying back. But when I trigger him to make a run forward, sometimes I'm doing that because sometimes there is lots of space for him to go forward and it can be really handy to, uh, yeah, to involve him in your attack. Then he will make an overlap run because in the middle there are already three midfielders and also you don't play with real wingers. So I want him to stay on the side of the field at that moment. Uh, center back, so default, Mondi is on balanced attack and overlap run type so he can go forward. Uh, by default by himself uh, he is a really good left defender of course we all know that he has i think five star skill moves four star weak foot i don't know exactly uh four star skill moves five star weak foot he has high high work rate so he is really good and you can see that also in the highlights from the game that i was playing that he was really useful when i was attacking he did a wonderful job over there all right then we have modric just default didn't change anything uh, Alaba, stay back while attacking, stay on the edge of the box for the cross and cover center. And then we have Valverde, just default, didn't change anything. Uh, Rodrigo, getting behind, the same for Vinicius Jr., getting behind. And then we have Benzema, just on default. All right, this is it for the formation lineup tactics and instructions. Now you can see me playing in online seasons against an, a real opponent, so you can see how this is working. Enjoy. All right, there we go. Playing with Real Madrid in the 4-3-2-1 formation. And we're playing against Manchester City. So let's see what we can do. I'm just aiming to Benzema. What? We have so much lag. Come on, Vinicius. 
Oh, <laughs> missing. <laughs> oh, what is this? Great job, Rudiger. <laughs> what a <laughs> what a shitty shot. Good. Benzema needs to score this one. Come on. Oh not Yes. Oh my god. What a goal. What a goal. Mondi to Benzema. Back to Mandi, this is so wonderful with the overlap on him. Rodrigo, oh, so lucky here, so lucky with Rodrigo. Valverde, that's good. Rodrigo with a really wonderful pass to Vinicius. Vinicius shoot it. Oh, too bad. Rodrigo is going, gets the ball. Vinicius, and there it is, the third goal, great goal, great goal. Benzema to Mundi. Cross it, oh, I wanted to cross it to Rodrigo. Oh, thank you. Modric, Alaba, Valverde to Vinicius. Get through. Oh, a rebound. No, not a rebound. Like that. Great pass. Oh, no. Wow. <laughs> wow, wow, wow. Alaba is there with the fourth goal. Good skill. Saved by Courtois, yeah that is Courtois, best goalkeeper in the game. Alright, the guy just stopped playing because he didn't stand a chance. So let's see if we can score another goal here. Oh, come on, there it is, can we score another goal with Vinicius Jr. Come on, score it, oh hitting the bar. <laughs> Give me the ball. Give me the ball. Thank you. Vinicius. Yes, there it is. Another goal. <laughs> Last minute goal. After he stopped playing because he didn't stand a chance. <laughs> Alright, you can see it in the stats here. I'm sorry it's Dutch because this is my second account that I'm playing because I was testing this. It's in Division 2. Not one, but two this is. But you can see the stats, not that much of possession. It's only 48, but the shots, 16. Expected goals, 5.9. Yeah, it was some kind of a masterclass here. All right, this is the end of this video. Thank you very much for watching. Have a great day, people. Bye-bye.